टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मिनिमम स्पान इन ट्री यूजिंग प्रिम्स मेथड फर्स्ट वी विल कवर वट डू वी मीन बाय मिनिमम स्पान इन ट्री हाउ वट इज अ प्रिम्स मेथड एंड हाउ टू सॉल्व विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल फॉलोड बाय प्रिम्स एल्गोरिदम लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ मिनिमम स्पान इन ट्री डेफिनेशन सो मिनिमम स्पान इन ट्री कैन बी जनरेटेड only if graph is weighted and undirected that means a graph in which edges are not having directions and those edges are labeled with weight so here we can generate a minimum spanning tree which is actually a subgraph of the vertices and such a way that the edges are having minimum weight the weight of the tree is nothing but sum of the weights of edges so edges are considered or in a tree or the resultant minimum spanning tree their collectively sum is called as weight of a tree now if given a particular graph say for their example four nodes are four vertices are given and there are set of five edges each edge we can generate a spanning tree in some uh, way that is from first node to second second to third third to fourth or we can generate a tree from fourth to third third to second and second to first but it is also required to generate a tree in such a fashion so the weight of that tree will be minimum so using this minimum spanning tree can be produced using prims method so application of minimum spanning tree is on designing efficient routing algorithms and it is also applicable to network design problem so it is quite important let us take one example and see how prims method work so this is a graph that is given whose minimum spanning tree is needed to be generated now there are some vertices vertices are labeled from 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and their edges are also labeled with weight now these weights and of edges are not directed that means either you move from 1 to 2 or from vertex number 2 to vertex number 1 the weight or the cost incurred is same that is 25 now see how prims method will work first we will consider all the vertices of a graph and place those nodes isolated and we consider currently the weight of tree is 0 because there are no edges in the resultant tree now here what we will do we will start with vertex number 1 so here vertex number 1 is a vertex with the label 1 select an edge with least weight that means if for vertex 1 look it into the graph with vertex 1 how many edges are there there are basically two edges that is edge number 25 and edge 10 an edge which is having weight 25 is connected with 2 and edge which is having weight 10 is connected with 6 so out of these two edge which are actually associated with vertex number 1 we have to select an edge with the minimum weight and we have to also make sure that if edge is selected there is no closed loop or a circuit so initially my graph is having isolated vertices so there is a no questioning of loop or a circuit so i will reject an edge with weight 25 and keep an edge with weight 10 because it is actually having least weight now if edge is added inside a resultant tree by total weight will be now 10 and 1 and 6 are now nodes whose 
vertices we have to consider. Now we will consider vertex number 1 and vertex number 6 and find out all the edges associated with all these vertices. So there are how many vertices that are associated with 1 and 6. So with 1 there is one more edge with weight 25 and with vertex 6 except to a weight 10 vertex there is another edge with weight 25. So we have to select an edge out of 25 and 23 such that an edge with minimum weight will get selected and there is no closed loop or a circuit. So I will reject the 25 and keep an edge with 23 weight. So if that weight or that edge is added, my total weight will be 10 plus 23. That is is equal to 33. So total weight is now 33. Now we will consider those grade vertices. That is vertex number 1, vertex number 5 and vertex number 6. And we will find out all the edges that are referred or associated with this. So with vertex 1, 6 and 5, find all the edges and select the least weighted edge and make sure there is no circuit. So an edge with weight 25, an edge with weight 22, an edge with weight 20 are there associated with all three vertices. We will consider only an edge with weight 20 and reject the remaining edges. Now weight of my tree is now 33 plus 20. That is 10 plus 23 plus 20 is equal to 53. So the total weight of my graph is now 53. Now we will consider vertex number 1, 6, 5 and 4. And all the edges that are associated with all these 4 vertices will now be considered. And out of those edges we can only select the, an edge which is having least weight. And making sure that there is no circuit or a closed loop. So edges that are considered is 25, 22, 17 and 11. Out of all these edges, 11 is the least weighted edge. So we will keep only edge 11 and remove the rest of the edges. So now graph weight is previously was 53. Now an edge with weight 11 is added. So now total weight of my graph is 64. Now we will consider all the grade vertices. That is vertex number 1, 6, 5, 4 and 3. And we will find out all the edges that are associated with all the vertices. And out of all those edges, we will select an edge with the least weight, such a way that it doesn't make a closed path or a circuit. Now edges are 25, 22, 20, 17 and 14. Here 14 is the minimum or least weighted edge. So we will remove all the all remaining edges and keep only 14. Total weight of my graph will be now previously 64 plus 14 that is newly added edge. So total weight of this graph is now 78. Now we will consider vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and their associated unvisited edges. So edges are 25. 12, 22 and 17. 12 is the minimum weighted edge. So we will consider only this edge and reject other edges. So total weight will be now 78 plus 12 that is equal to 90. 
so in this way we have now visited all the vertices no vertices left so we will stop our working of prints method at this location this is how prints method will work you have to draw minimum spanning tree as well as weight of that minimum spanning tree has to be mentioned for your practice there is one exercise that is given in which there are seven vertices and weights of edges are also specified here your goal is to find out minimum spanning tree Thank you.